Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to camp. It is a gorgeous day here, plus five, um, which is a nice change because the past two, three weeks have been minus 20s, minus 30s at night and in the teens in the day, so it's been really cold. Uh, last Friday, we got a big snowstorm. Uh, that's half melted, which is good. You know, the sooner we get the snow melted and the sooner April and, sorry, March and April come, you know, we can uh, open up the pop-up start preparing that for spring and uh, summer and do some videos on that. Um, I did get the road open. I found someone to do it for a good price. Uh, the hill is a different story, but it's very, all the snow is very packed down and wet today. So uh, I didn't have any problem coming down. I just want to keep the bringing the car down here because last week trying to bring my stuff back and forth on a sled, eh, it wasn't fun. So anyway, I'm not going to do too much today. Maybe give you guys a tour a little bit around here. And maybe bring down some wood because it's, uh, you know, a nice mild day. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm kind of just staring behind the fire pit here. And then you can see the picnic table, the pop-up camper, and the tent in my vehicle. And uh, this is my father-in-law's property. It's about 27 acres. Of course, I'm not going to show you the 27 acres. But it's on the side of a mountain, basically. Uh, and there's not too many flat spots to really do anything or put anything. So come down here. And then it kind of levels out here and over there, way in the background over there. And then uh, then it goes straight down there, another, another uh, not a cliff, but a big hill, you know. So, so I got the fire pit here. Got a bird feeder here. I put some bread in it last time. They haven't really been eating it. I feel like I put a whole roll in there. So I don't know. They must have a lot of food. Uh, this is a picnic table here where I spend... Uh, a lot of time eating in the summer. Actually, it's really nice and melted off. I could eat there now. This is my Sun Valley Fleetwood. Um, 12 foot box, really nice camper. I've had this for uh, five or six years now and um, it's uh, been really good to me. Then of course, this is where we're spending the winter uh, camping in this tent. Let's go open it up. And I'm guaranteeing you that there's water on the floor inside. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, my, the two by six I had there holding this up fell down. Maybe it was the wind, maybe it was an animal, who knows. Anyway, the floor doesn't look that too bad for water. Let's see. Yeah, there is a bit, but nothing, nothing to be, uh, nothing to be concerned about. All right. All right, there's some deer tracks there, you know, coming to get a drink. There's a lot of natural spring, springs around here. Uh, so in the summer, I mean, I have enough water for the whole, once spring hits, I mean, these things never stop, uh, uh, never stop flowing even underground in the winter. So, so this is the hill that uh, I gotta come up and down. This is a steep one with the car, but right now it's good. Might pass the plow. There's a big field down there. You can see some deer tracks and a lot of deer around here. Then here you have, in the summer, this is a pond. You can see the spout there. You see the spout right there. And uh, that's where I get all my water from in the summer. This is a big pond in the spring and summer. You can see it's already melted right through because this is always flowing. And uh, the water comes way, the spring is way, way up there at the top of this uh, hill. So it's a really nice property, really happy. Got my son's treehouse over there. Uh, yeah, so beyond that, there's not much. There's 27 acres, but how much can you use is, uh, you know, the other different story.
So this is where I'm starting this next year's wood. You see all along there, that's all It's all wood I cut and split last year, so that's dry. And this will be starting to burn this probably fall of uh, 2022. Right guys, it is so mild out right now and and warm and just very nice and uh, it's too bad it can't always be like this in the winter but for the middle of February it's very nice. Get this fire going. It's going to be a little bit better than the last two times I was here. One night was freezing cold. Last Friday was a snowstorm. Uh, so, and now it's the middle of February, so you can see even at like 20 to 4, quarter to 4, uh, right now it's, uh, still daylight out, so. Probably still got about another two hours of daylight, an hour and a half, two hours, something like that, so. Oh, smoke! <laughs> Right, guys you can enjoy that fire a bit it's uh it's supposed to be around uh, four or five degrees tonight as well during the night probably get some rain so inside the tent it's going to be probably too hot uh, but i'm definitely after last uh, week's experience with uh, the carbon monoxide detector i'm going to definitely open up a lot more windows especially tonight it's going to be warm so you know guys it's only four o'clock but it's five o'clock somewhere five o'clock not fuck five o'clock oh, I didn't even had a beer yet that hits the spot I'm sitting here with no jacket no gloves and I'm fine it's a beautiful of course I got the radio going over there um, yeah so not too much for supper tonight Yeah, so I turn you turn you around so you can see me. Uh, yeah, so for supper tonight, I'm just doing. Uh, I just bought a pizza sub from the local uh, grocery store, and uh, I'm just gonna throw that in the um, uh, Dutch oven. See if I can cook it over the fire here without burning it. Uh, I mean, I actually I forgot to eat my lunch. I'm pretty hungry. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but so I've been munching on uh, these things here. These uh, beef jerky. They're pretty good. Jack links. Anyway, I always keep a lot of snacks in my cooler just in case I need food or forget to eat or whatever, and that's exactly what happened. Got the uh, bird feeder there in the uh, background in case the chickadees come back, but they're pretty quiet. Anyway, besides that, there's nothing going on. It's very quiet and very nice and very, very mild, so I'm happy about that. All right, guys, so my plan is to put the pizza sub in some foil and then put it in the Dutch oven on the fire and, uh, you know, use the Dutch oven as an actual oven to just heat up the sub. So we'll see how that goes. So I think what I'm going to do 
is I got this like this and the Dutch oven's heated up now so I'm gonna put the cover right on the flames so if the cover gets really hot and then I put it the sub in and the uh, sorry, get this okay. I'm gonna put the sub in and the cover will be really hot so the heat will come down and heat up the top milk the cheese that's the plan anyway Gotta get some sort of other glove for this uh, for this uh, Dutch oven, an oven mitt or something. Actually, I'm gonna try this. Actually, not bad. That's pretty good, actually. All right, guys, while the uh, sub is cooking, crack another PBR. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, crack a cold one. All right, guys, we're going to do a little check on the sub here. Oh, yeah, steam coming off of it. That's a good sign. Whoa! I just burnt my fingers on the bottom. I think it's just sticking to the foil. That's not good. I'm going to put it on its side, and I'm getting smoke. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a little overdone on this side, but you know what? It heated it up and did the job. All right, let's see what uh, we got here. It's a little burnt on this side, but it's crispy, so it won't be bad. It smells delicious. There we go. I just, I was gone for a beer when this happened, so that's what, uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the fire while I, um, have a little bite of this. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. Uh, it's quite burnt on the bottom too, but that's okay. Mmm. That was so good. I'm hungry, but it's good. The cheese is melted. The uh, dough is crispy. Hey guys, it's about five o'clock. It's still pretty daylight. I think I probably have about 45 minutes left. I gotta get the buddy heater going in the uh, in the tent. I gotta put all my stuff in. I'm really happy because I have the car right beside the tent, so I can just bring the stuff out and you guys some scenery here <clears throat> instead of the fire. Um, yeah. So I just got to unload the car <coughs> in the tent real quick, and it's not cold, so it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm going to finish my sub, I'm going to have a couple more brewskis, and then uh, I'm going to head into the tent. 
All right, guys, we are uh, inside the tent. It is uh, very hot in here. It is 30 degrees at the top of the tent, down by the cost probably 20. I got all three windows open. Uh, I don't know if you can't see that, but I got the windows open. Try to let some air in here, but it's going to be very hot tonight. I definitely won't be sleeping with the wool blanket on top. I definitely will be sleeping just in my underwear in the sleeping bag. Um, I might actually have to turn the big buddy heater off while I'm watching this movie. Uh, just because, uh, I mean, it's like a sauna in here. It's crazy. Anyway, last week I forgot to tell you I watched The American. It was a weird movie. Um, I was just waiting for something to happen. Nothing really ever happened. So, anyway. Tonight I'm watching uh, Power of the Dog. It's a uh, Netflix movie. I've had it on my list for a while. I heard it was a, uh, nominated for Academy Awards, so I'm going to watch it and see what uh, what that's about. So um, I'm going to um, chill out here and uh, turn this movie on, and then uh, check in with you guys later. All right, guys, it's uh, about uh, 7 o'clock. It's about 28 degrees in here, which is really hot. Uh, I got the buddy heater way over there. Anyway, it's really mild out. I'm going to crack this uh, white wine tonight to go with my uh, snacks for the movie. It's uh, Sunho 2018, product of Portugal. So I'm going to crack that open. And uh, also got some... Ruffles chips. I um, also got a whole bunch of other snacks like peanuts and uh, what have you. But uh, I'm crack this baby open here. That's different. I'm used to a dry wine. This is a little bit different, but it's good. Look, 12.2% alcohol. They're really on there. You know, usually it's 11 or 10, but they're really on 12.2. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to uh, finish watching the movie, have some snacks, and have a couple of glasses of this wine and. Uh, Hopefully I have a good night's sleep tonight, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm not at the tent. I uh, had a little malfunction with the cot during the night. So I decided to, uh, well, I tried to sleep in the car, but I was like, screw that, and I just packed up my stuff, and I went home. So not having very good luck uh, sleeping in that tent. Uh, probably only got in around 2 a.m., didn't get much sleep. So, yeah, that's the way things go. Uh... I just can't wait to uh, get the pop-up open and uh, be able to stay in that instead of this uh, tent that, uh, you know, has been a little bit of a disaster sometimes. So anyway, that's the way she goes. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, until next time.